Part three of my favorite movies based on military stories is the true amazing story of the lone survivor. Starring Mark Wahlberg, Eric Taylor Kitchen, Emil Hirsch, Ben Foster, and Eric Bana taking on the real life roles, the real life people you know, of the Navy SEAL team and commanders of that, of that mission. Wahlberg plays Ace Hospital Corpsman First Class Marcus Vislatrell, oh, part of the four team aims of reconnaissance and surveillance team of SEAL Team 10. I think one of the things that really make, outside of Mark Wahlberg being in this movie as one of my favorites, this was perhaps one of the greatest movies that he's ever made in his career. And that, and talking about a guy who's been up for Academy Awards like Mark Wahlberg, that's saying a whole lot. And I think another th reason why I like this particular movie is because it felt real. Everything looked, everything looked right, everything felt right. You were actually in there, in on those mountains in Afghanistan with the Navy SEAL, with the, with the SEAL team. Now, it does have a lot of star power, including Eric Banner, who plays Lieutenant Commander Christensen. And you have, uh, have Tara Kitchen, who plays Michael Murphy, the team leader of the, of the recon team. Now, the story of this movie is that it's the retelling of Operation Red Wings, as I mentioned earlier. Their mission was to take down the Al-Qaeda leader. But everything you could possibly think of going wrong in this mission did go wrong. A civilian, was a civilian Afghani child was found, and the team had to make the choice of either A, killing him, B, tying him up, and hopefully someone will find him hours, maybe even days afterward, and they would still be alive, or three, take their chances, let them go, and knowing full well that it's possible that they could have formed the Taliban. Obviously, they went with the final choice. In doing that, led almost 200 Taliban soldiers on their back, backsides. It was the right call, but it cost a lot of lives. Well, I, another thing I love about this movie is how Mark Wahlberg and everyone on this movie, they didn't look at this as another movie acting gig. They took it 100% seriously. The looks of who these people were, who this SEAL team was, how they dressed, how they looked, how they talked. And there is some comedy in it, of course, even showing um, <laughs> even showing Shane Patton trying to dance during his indoctrination ceremony when he was in Afghanistan. Even um, the funny parts of some of these team members calling home to their wives or even asking themselves what kind of wedding day gifts they could have or anniversary gifts they could have. You got to know who these people were. Outside of being just a bunch of hard hardened Navy SEALs, you saw the people. And I think that's what director Peter Berg wanted you to see. That these were these were real men, extraordinary men, that had had lives outside of the SEAL, outside of the SEALs. That's why this is one of my favorite military movies of all time. Stories like this need to be told. They inspire and they always show us that they're always in the darkest moments heroes. And not to mention having a guy like Peter Berg Eric directing this, Mark Wahlberg starring in this. <laughs> well, you get the idea. And not to mention the fact that they took uh, this, took everything directly from the source material, Marcus Luttrell's book, uh, Lone Survivor. It made it even much more or special and much more important that this story be told. Until tomorrow, we go to my third favorite movie dealing with true stories about military bravery celebrating Memorial Day. Thank you.